Hi there guys, lovely to be with you again today. It's Tuesday the 13th of March. Hope your week's going well so far. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for all your wee comments, writing in, telling us that you enjoy the videos. Thanks for writing in too, telling us that you saw us up the street. Thanks for waving to us when you see us in our wee Jesus car. We're going about in a wee silver car now. Some of you have noticed and you're waving to us and that's great as well. We'll tell you more about the wee car soon. Hey guys, good to have you with us. We're looking in Romans chapter 1, the second half of the chapter. You remember yesterday we started off Romans chapter 1, Paul the missionary writing to the Christians in Rome that he hadn't visited yet. He was hoping to visit them and then to go on from there to Spain. But uh, sadly he never got to Spain but he, ended, he finished up his journey in Rome and was executed there for the name of Jesus. But hey guys, we're in the second half of the chapter today. It's a very, very serious um, chapter. You should read it for yourselves. It just shows the, the downward spiral that men take when they leave God out of their lives. Hey guys, I've been looking back and I've been teaching children the Bible story for about 40 years or so. And it's wonderful um, to teach the little children about God and about Jesus. And their wee, their wee faces just light up. And they love the story when you tell them about Adam and Eve in the garden and that God made the birds and the flowers. and and that God made them, you know, their wee faces just light up because they know, they know it's true. Uh, and you tell them about Jesus and how he loved them and, and died for their sins and they just respond because they know it's true. And guys, it is true, you see, and because all around us in the things that God has made, the wonderful things in this world, this lovely creation, you know, the sun rising and uh, and the rainbow in the sky and, and all these beautiful things, a lovely sunset or a lovely mountain scene, you know, the rivers and all these beautiful things, the animal kingdom, the fishes in the sea, all these beautiful things show us that we have an amazing God with an amazing colour and an, an amazing variety and an, and an amazing wisdom. What a, a wonderful God we have. We can see it in the stars, you know. People have been talking about the planets that you can see at this time of the year. You know, outer space, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, and God made the stars. We sing it with the children. He made the stars to shine. He made the rolling sea. He made the mountains high. And he made me. And, and the children love. And it's all true, you see, guys. And you know it's true. But you see, as we grow up, um, we get away from, from the truth. You know, we get up and we get into our teens and people tell us, oh, no, they say, bad is good. You've got to do some bad things to enjoy your life. And, and you don't, there's no God, you know. We just came from, there was evolution, you know. We just, it's just all happened. There was a big bang, you know. And, and there's no God. You just, just do what you like. Live life. The way you like, you, you don't have to believe in the God at all. And, and we, get, we get moved away from the truth and we start to believe the lies. We start to believe that bad is good, that, that to enjoy life you have to do bad and you, uh, you have to do evil and you have to get involved in, in stuff that you know it's wrong. You know it's wrong. If, you, if you're a teenager and you've started off in some of this stuff, you know it's wrong. And I know that you do because you're right in and tell me about it and you say oh I wish I didn't have to run with that crowd I wish I wish I had friends that, that just did did what's right you know I'm getting pulled away into bad stuff and I know it's wrong and you see this is what happens and we turn away from the truth about God you know we turn away from the truth that if you're going to be happy in this life you need to follow God and do what's right Hey guys, you don't need to do what's wrong. If somebody's trying to tell you that you have to do wrong, don't listen to them. It is a lie and you will never be happy. And it starts a downward spiral. And I get emails and wee messages 
from friends, you know, that, that are adults now and they've got their own kids and their own lives and, and they're going through stuff and um, they look back, you know, and they, and they say to us, Ray, see, those, see when we were young people and we went away with you on those little camps and, you know, when we, when we heard you telling us about Jesus and those were great days, we had great fun, you know. I wish we could go back to those days, you know, when when everything was just innocent and pure and, and fresh and you know those were the happiest days of our lives you know and I'm so pleased I, I'm happy that I helped um, loads of kids to have a good childhood you know and I, I feel so bad when um, they've got into stuff and they've got away from God and, uh, and people tell us you know we, we got away from God so quickly you know and we went down it's a downward spiral you know you get away from God you start believing the lies and you start um, getting affected by, by other people and, and you get hurt oh so many of you are hurt and hurt so badly you know because um, people that you trusted have let you down you know they They've told you things, but the, what they told you was all lies. And you've been a victim of lies. You've been caught in someone's web of lies. Uh, and the devil's there too to pull you down by his lies. And you get into the darkness and, and you get into depression. Uh, and your life goes spiraling out of control. And maybe you try some other things to get a bit of relief. Maybe you turn to drink. Maybe you turn to drugs. Uh, maybe you turn to some other things to try and get a bit of relief, you know. But you know these are these are just idols, you know. These are things that will never satisfy. To be satisfied, we need to turn back to God. You say, but will God have me back? Yes, He will. He's <coughs> brought you to listen to my voice today. This little message is just for you. God is waiting. His arms are open. He wants you to come back to Him. He wants to bless you. He wants to forgive you. He wants to put his Holy Spirit in you. He wants to take you by the hand. He wants you to start on a new pathway, a new journey, a new adventure, a new way. And he has got good things for you. And he wants to help you and restore you. And he wants to build you, not pull you down. And if you've been living in the pigsty, you know, we go so low sometimes, <coughs> like the prodigal son, he ended up in the pigsty with the pigs when he had a loving father waiting for him back home. And that's us, you know, we get so low. If you're living in the pigsty today, you've got a loving father that wants you to come home, that wants you to come back. And Jesus died for you and he still loves you, you know, as if you were that little girl or little boy on the camp with Ray and Trixie. He still loves you and he wants you to come back. He wants you to come back to him and he will bless you. He will restore you and he will give you life, a new life, a life of good, a life of blessing, a life when you can help others, that you can be a benefit to your children, a benefit to your community, a benefit to your church, a benefit to the people of this world. And that's what God wants. He wants to change things around for you. He wants you to be converted. Converted means changed. Repent means turn. He wants you to repent. Just turn. Turn back to him. <coughs> turn from all the mess. Don't try and clean it up. Turn and come to him just as you are. You can't clean it up. He will do it for you and through you. And we need to come just as we are. So guys, hey, here's the message today. Bad things are not fun. The downward spiral. We become a victim of lies. A victim of hurts. A victim of letdowns, a victim of cheats, and we become we come into a hell on earth. And God doesn't want that for us. He wants you to have a good life and he wants to take you home to heaven for the the best life ever in his presence, in his kingdom, in his beautiful heaven, forever and forever. And so it's all here for you. What have you got to lose? Just come to Jesus today. He's waiting for you. And he loves you. And Trixie and I love you all very, very much. And we want to thank you for watching today. God bless you. And see you all tomorrow. Maybe it's a little bit crazy to believe what I cannot see.
fantasy Maybe it's a little bit crazy that my best friend is my savior Maybe it's a little bit crazy that a king would give his life for me Maybe it's a little bit crazy but I've heard my stranger Maybe it's a little bit crazy that a king 